much and welcome to another week of Fun Lunch Ideas! Before we start, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And next we have the shout outs. This week it's going to Sandy and our Instagram shout out goes to Kayla. Last week we asked you to vote on a nickname and the name that got the most votes is, drum roll please, Fudgies. Thank you for all your votes Fudgies. Now let's get started. Hi guys and happy, happy Monday. Monday. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Where's the sandwich? I know normally on Monday I do PB&J sandwiches, but I wanted to try something different. This is peanut butter yogurt. And we haven't tried this flavor before, but these are the flip ones. So they have little peanuts inside, mm -hmm. and then you put them in the vanilla yogurt. Right, so there's peanuts on this side, so you kind of flip it over, and all the crunchies go on top. It's vanilla Greek yogurt with peanut butter clusters. What do you think about peanut butter yogurt, Jackson? I don't know if it's gonna be good, but uh, maybe. Maybe, well, I hope you try it. I am including this cute little spoon for your yogurt. And then back over here I have some watermelon, but Unfortunately, this watermelon from Costco is pretty pink, isn't it? Yeah. Usually watermelon is red, so hopefully you guys will still like it. I could smell it while you were making it. It does smell good, but it may not be very sweet. You guys have to try it. Over here, I'm giving the kids some shredded carrots. It's just more fun to eat it when it's little pieces, right? Yeah. And then over here, I have something that is so yummy. This is... The Boom Chicka Pop in the white cheddar flavor. It is so good, I can't stop snacking on it. But it's actually not too bad for you. And then lastly, I'm also giving the kids some fruit leathers. These are the ones from Trader Joe's, and these are apple blueberries. So it's like a, a fruit snack. Does it look good? Yeah! Okay, let's go ahead and get our lids on, and after lunch... We'll show you what we ate. Okay guys, time to see what they ate. Starting with Mackenzie's. How'd it go, Kenzie? It was yummy. She ate everything, good job. It was just enough. Now, Jackson, what happened? Mm, I was full. You were full? There's a little bit of yogurt left. There's almost all the popcorn left. And did you eat any carrots? Some. Some carrots? And Lily, she ate all of her popcorn. There's a little bit of yogurt left. And she didn't eat her carrots either. <laughs> What'd you think, miss? <laughs> what was your favorite part? The uh, yogurt. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Yogurt. You really liked the watermelon even though it was sour? Mm -hmm. Well, everybody ate the watermelon, so they must have liked it. What did you think about the yogurt, guys? The peanut it, butter yogurt? It was super good. A little bit good. A little bit good? We'll see you on Tuesday. Hi, Hi fudgies, and welcome to Tuesday. Right now, I've got Mackenzie, Lily, and Jackson here with me, and they are ready for lunch. Are you hungry? Yeah. Well, here's what I'm serving today. It's kind of like a deconstructed pizza. I started with some pizza breadsticks. These are cheese and garlic. They're really tasty. To go along with that, I'm also giving the kids a mozzarella cheese stick for the cheese of the pizza. And then back over here, I have some mini pepperonis. Don't those look fun? Yeah! And you can use your little pick to pick them up. It'll be really fun. And then for the breadsticks, I'm also giving the kids a little container of marinara sauce for them to dip their bread in. Back over in this corner, I just have a few pieces of broccoli. And then in this little container, I have some ranch. It's been a long time since I've made homemade ranch, so I think they're gonna love it. Now since it is Tuesday, this lunch is nut free. Yay, I'm happy to see ranch. Yeah, that girl loves some ranch. So we have that in there. And then lastly, I have some fruit cups that Lily requested. These are peaches in 100% juice, not like sugar or syrup or anything. And she definitely needs help to open these. These kinds can be hard to open and messy, so I will definitely be helping her to open that, and that is it. The kids are gonna have water with this, and that is lunch for today. And after lunch, we'll show you what we ate. Okay, fudgies, lunchtime is over now, and we need to know if the kids give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. What do you think, Lily? Good, 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 good. What do you think, Mackenzie? Thumbs up. And Jackson? Um, 
thumbs up or thumbs down? Both? Well, I see out of everyone, Jackson has the most left over. What happened, Jack? Mm. Wasn't your favorite? Mm -hmm. I ate almost all of these, and I didn't read a lot of them. Yeah, so he has a little bit left, not too bad. Mackenzie ate everything, and Lily just left one little piece of bread. She did ask for more ranch. So what was your favorite part, guys? The pizza uh, bread. Pepperonis. Lily, what was your favorite part? Uh, the pizza and the broccoli and the pepperoni. Oh. You liked all of it? And we'll see you tomorrow, fudgies. Bye. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Wednesday. <laughs> Good job, guys. I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily with me. Say hello. Hello. What do you think of today's lunch? It looks really yeah. yummy. Uh -huh. I really like that on Wednesdays we have a little bit more time and the kids can actually help me make the lunch. The kids actually made their little dessert cups today. These. Was, was it fun? Yeah. Uh -huh. They're Jello creations. First I made the pudding, it's chocolate. And then I got it into these cups. I really like this size cup. It's a little bit smaller and it comes with a lid. So it's really nice. Then I added the dip. That's actually a crushed up Oreo. That's right, Oreos are so good. And then Jackson, what did you do? I put all these little gummies. There is worms and snails. Worms and snails. So it looks like a fun dirt cup. Now to go along with today's lunch, I'm also giving the kids some white mac and cheese which came from this box. This is the Annie's Shells and White Cheddar. Do you guys like this kind? Yeah. yeah. I hope so, because I gave them a whole bowl full. Now, to go along with this, I also made a quick broccoli salad, which I'd never made before, but I think it turned out really nice. It's broccoli, carrots, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of sugar. There's almonds in there as well. It's yummy. I hope you guys like it, because it's really good. And also carrots in it. Yeah, it would be really good if you added craisins, but I don't have any craisins. So, I think that's that's going to be enough food for them today. I'm all out of fruit. We definitely need to get back to the store in the next couple of days, but I think this is going to make them pretty full. Does it look like enough? Yeah! I also have some for Griffin. After lunch, we'll show you what we ate. Time to see how they did. What did you think, Kenzie? It was yummy. What was your favorite part? This, this, and this. What about you, Lily? You got a little bit of chocolate on your mouth. Was you it good? You got a drink here. What about you, Jack? What about you, Jack? Thumbs down for this and thumbs down for that, but you, I like the mac and cheese. You didn't like the pudding? Uh-huh. I just like chocolate for some reason. What? Hi, guys, and welcome to Wednesday. But it's Thursday. Uh, That's okay. So on Thursdays, I try to make a allergy-friendly lunch, which is a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. So if you guys have some favorite ideas for allergy-free lunches, leave them in the comments down below and I'll definitely try making those. But here's what I made for today's lunch. I started by cooking up some brown rice in my Instant Pot. It was super fast. And then I got that into the thermoses. And then on top, I'm giving the kids some of this chana masala. I think that's how you say it. And this is vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO. And it's actually mild in spice. It's made with chickpeas, there's onions, tomatoes, and spices in there. Now, I'm not sure if the kids are gonna like that, but they did like the lentils last time, and they're, they're not exactly the same, obviously, but they're similar, so I'm hoping they'll like this one today. To go along with that, I'm also giving the kids some yummy sesame crackers. These are actually made of rice, so they're gluten-free, and they're actually really yummy and crispy. Over in this corner today, I'm giving the kids some cucumbers. Do you like cucumbers? Yeah! But instead of doing the normal um, round pieces that I do, I went ahead and made the sticks instead. So it's a little bit different. And then over here, I have some of these bobo bites. <laughs> these look really interesting. Now these are vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, but this particular flavor does have nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, just get a different flavor. So. These are kind of like an Aussie bite, if you've ever had one of those. It's like a little biscuit muffin thing. What about the applesauce, Mom? Oh, yes. Now, I am out of fresh fruit today. I need to make it to the store. So instead, I'm gonna give the kids this applesauce pouch. But who was it, Jackson, did you pick this out? Yeah. This is the apple mango one. So that one's really tasty. 
So I definitely need to give the kids some spoons today. Do you think you're gonna like it? Yeah. I want you to eat it all. Eat as much as you can, okay? Okay. I hope you like it. And we'll see you after lunch, bye. Bye. Lunch is over now. Some of us liked it. Some of us didn't. You can tell who it was. Mackenzie did really well. She ate just about everything. But the other two, not so much. What happened, Jack? Did you even try it? I tried some of it. She ate the chickpea part, but she left all the rice. But Jackson looks like he didn't eat any. I didn't did eat some. But you didn't like it? Mm -hmm. Oh well. He did eat everything else except for a few bites of his muffin. But you guys, these are actually really hard. I know. I thought yeah. they would be like soft. They're surprisingly hard. And then Lily, she didn't eat much else either. She did have her applesauce. You must be hungry still, huh? <laughs> if you didn't eat your lunch. This is not my favorite lunch, Mom. Well, we'll try again tomorrow, and tomorrow is gonna be special with a theme, so I can't wait to show you. Special Friday lunch. That's right. I will see you tomorrow. Hi friends and happy Friday. Today I have a special themed lunch. I'm gonna surprise the kids. You guys wanna come see? Yeah! Ooh. Whoa, cool! <laughs> it's cool. minions, we love minions. We think they're so funny and cute. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating the boxes with some really cute napkins and some cupcake liners. Now for our special sandwich today, we actually made a peanut butter and banana waffle sandwich. I used these um, waffles from the grocery store and these are actually chocolate chip and banana and the shape looks like a little minion so it's perfect for today. So I just toasted those up and then Mackenzie helped me to add peanut butter and slices of banana. And then on the front to make them look like minions, I use these really big candy sprinkle eyes, just a couple on each and I use a little bit of peanut butter to glue them down. Also in today's lunch, I'm giving the kids a special string cheese. These are really cute because they actually have the minions printed on the wrapper. In this back corner over here, I have some chunks of mango. They were just the perfect color for today's lunch. And we haven't had mango in the while, so hopefully it's good. I gave the kids a little minion pick to pick their mango up. It'll be really fun. And then back over here, I have some Cheez-It crackers. And these are, of course, the minion ones. They have little characters on each cracker. Ooh, this looks so fun. Mm -hmm. Now lastly, I do have a special treat for the kids today. I was able to find these Minion gummies at Walmart and they just look so cute. We don't get these all the time, but they're perfect for today's lunch. And finally to drink, I'm just giving the kids some lemonade. I couldn't find any Minion drinks, but this one was the right color. This is just the lemonade from Trader Joe's. So, it's going in today's lunch. What do you guys think? It looks yummy. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, we are missing a vegetable today. Are you sad? No, not really. You can have vegetables for dinner. It'll be totally fine. But I couldn't find a yellow vegetable that these guys would like, so I just went ahead and skipped it for this lunch. No big deal. Are you excited? Yeah. Who can talk like a minion? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below if you like minions. And we'll see you after lunch. Lunch's over now and it was awesome. They did really well today, although I can see that I packed too many crackers. Both Jackson and Lily didn't finish their crackers. And just about everybody has some mango left. Was it not very ripe? No. No. Okay, tell me what your favorite part was. Go, Kenzie. The gummies. What about you, Jack? The gummies and the sandwich and some of the crackers. Some of the crackers. What was your favorite, Lily? Everything. Everything. Well, I love this minion lunch. I thought it was actually really easy and really cute. So let us know in the comments down below what themed lunches you'd like to see. I know I've had some requests to do Shopkins, some requests to do animal themes. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And we'll see you next week. Bye. All right, fudgies. Next week is our last week of school. And we want you to pick the lunches that we make. So leave your ideas in the comments down below. And we're gonna pick five lunches to make. So you can put as many ideas as you want. Let us know in the comments down below which lunch was your favorite. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.